So dealerships are trying to scam you. And if you don't know what your vehicle is worth or have somebody that can actually give you a good running assessment of your vehicle, whether it's good mechanically or not, they're gonna get you good. And this story actually stems from a friend that called me a couple of weeks ago and says, hey, a dealership, I brought my car to the dealership for a recall. They told me my vehicle is crap. They were only offering me $2,000 and they said the repairs for the vehicle were gonna exceed what it's worth. I told them, ho, ho, hold on, bring the car over here. Let's take a look at it. And um, yeah, I'll show you exactly how they were trying to scam. So he went to the Ford dealer, got the recall done. They did a courtesy assessment of the vehicle, told him that everything was leaking, the fluids were burned, everything was bad on it, it needed this maintenance, needed suspension work, yada yada, vehicle unsafe to drive, recommend customer um, repairs. And then of course, a salesman comes in and says, well, we can give you $2,000 for your vehicle and we could get you in a newer vehicle that's safer and more reliable for your family. Yeah, I've heard that before. Now I knew the dealership was full of crap because I've serviced that vehicle for years. So I tell them, bring it over. We bring it over, fluids look beautiful because we changed all the fluids like a year ago. And the only suspension issue he had was a bad wheel bearing on the front right and a $200 and a couple hours later repair and he was back on the road and he was good to go. What's crazy is on his vehicle was that they were gonna offer him $2,000 for something that needed a simple repair that was in mint condition and then sell that vehicle probably for about 10 to 12,000 on the used market, but he would have to sell it in for 2,000 and then he would end up paying 30 to 40,000 on a newer vehicle. So that was horrible. So then it got me to thinking, what about this one? What would the dealership say about this? This is my 2006 Toyota Tundra. I've had it for about five or six years and it's been a fantastic truck. So about a couple of months ago, and I wish I would have kept the paperwork for it, I took my dealership for an airbag recall. Of course, they don't have the parts in, back order, yada, yada, yada. But of course they decided, and this is the Toyota dealership, to do a courtesy inspection of the vehicle to get me an idea of the condition of the vehicle and what needs to be done. So without my permission, they go through everything. They give me a print up of everything. And it's kind of crazy. And I'm going to show you exactly what they told me is wrong with my vehicle. So let's get underneath the vehicle. Let's take a look. You see that? Nothing. So the first thing the dealer said was that I had a massive oil leak that needed to be addressed. Guys, the vehicle is dry as a bone. I do my all own oil changes and I've changed every gasket that I've ever had an issue with, which with this Toyota has only been one. That was quite entertaining. Quoted me something like $1,500 for a rear main and oil pan, but it's dry as a bone. That's suspicious. The next thing they said my Brake fluid is um, bad, it is dirty, it is no good, it needs to be flushed. I think it was like two, three hundred dollars for that. But as you can see, it's pretty clean. Oh, and they did say that the fluid was low, which, well, I'm on a hill right now, but it's on the max line. It's clean as you can see it right over there. I serviced that about a year and a half ago. So another expense. Now this one was my favorite because they said they checked my differential fluid and they found the fluid to be low, burnt, and in desperate need of service. Those are the exact words. Guys, I serviced my differential about two years ago, put some good AMS oil in there. And um, if you look, I spray painted this. And the reason why I spray painted this is number one, it looked ugly, but number two, in case moments like that, people try to tamper with your vehicle, but as you can look, it has no witness marks and it hasn't been touched. It still has the original spray paint seal. So yeah, they never checked my differential fluid. So how are you gonna say that I need differential fluid when you didn't even check it? Now, another thing too, is they said that my rear shocks are bad. These are Bilstein's. These have only been on here about two years and this truck rides fantastic, like a dream on a cloud. So. How do they say that I need new shocks and suspensions? Their exact quotes were on that paperwork. Original OEM uh, Toyota sh uh, rear shocks are worn and need service. Nice try guys, nice try. Now one thing I will give them, they said my rear tires are bad and in need of replacement, which 
yeah they are bad they are in need of replacement i'll give them that but i'm definitely not gonna let them uh do it or pay for it who knows what else they might find or quote but yeah i need tires guys just the rear tires the, the fronts are brand new and that's about it so i'll give them that one thank you toyota for making me aware of something i'm aware already aware of but that's fine if somebody doesn't know they need tires it's good information for them to know and my final two favorites number one they said check transmission dipstick found transmission fluid to be low and in need of service fluid burnt or something to that effect but they said check the transmission dipstick guys if you have a 2006 toyota especially a lot of these new ones they don't have disc dipsticks anymore so how do they check the dipstick not to mention that a year ago i did the transmission fluid change i did two good changes changed the filter all that good stuff did the oem toyota method of waiting for the temperature so i know my fluid is perfect and in good condition so what dipstick did you check power steering fluid is burnt well look at that i don't know if you can see it but it's nice and clean and red and cherry it looks great why because i did a power steering flush and changed the fluid probably about a year ago and i did a lot of this maintenance about a year or two ago so why is this bad when it looks great it says color is dark and fluid appears to be burned very interesting and another good one they said my valve covers are leaking yeah that was not true that's not leaking oh and let me not forget the best one timing belt service uh exceeded past recommendation timing belt service needs to be done i did my timing belt about oh a year ago june 1st 2021 144,000 used mitsuboshi uh, and uh iason iason belts and all that good stuff original toyota parts actually no i use asn parts but i found this sticker lying around because i lost my asn sticker but yeah i use all original toyota parts which the best part of that was i bought those parts from that same dealership so they couldn't even bother to look up my phone number to see that i bought the parts but yeah they say my timing belt is in desperate need of service when looking at the hood it was done 144,000 miles ago and the truck only has 149,000 miles and it's only been a year so after this lovely assessment, I think they quoted me like six to seven thousand dollars to address all the issues that was run, uh, wrong with my vehicle. Allegedly. So then, of course, a service advisor or a salesperson comes up to me and says, hey, I hear you're having a lot of trouble with your vehicle. Um, there's a lot of maintenance on it. It could get quite expensive. What if we could get you in something newer and safer for your family, quote unquote? newer and safer for your family you know what if i was a dummy which maybe i am but if i was a dummy i'd fall for that all day long and i would say yes my family needs a newer and safer vehicle what can you do for me i looked at the lady i was like no thank you have a nice day i was polite i was polite i was not going to fall for their scam and tell them where to go and how to get there but i was polite but i did entertain and i said well how much can you guys give me for my vehicle in such condition and they offered me twenty five hundred dollars for this truck $2,500 for a 2006 Toyota Tundra with everything done, minus the rear tires, great condition, $2,500. And then I looked on their website, they had a used one for a 2006 that they were selling for $15,000 with 180,000 miles on it. Scam alert, scam alert. Yeah, that was a horrible experience. So now the takeaway from this vehicle, number one, don't fall for the dealership scams. If they tell you that your vehicle is crap, it's not worth anything, and they could get you something newer and nicer, save you money and use that line, something safe for you and your family, don't fall for it. Here's my recommendation. Number one, find a friend who's good at automotives, who's knowledgeable about it, have them take assessment of the vehicle. If not, take it to a reputable shop that you get recommendations from people that you know, have them do an assessment on the vehicle and see if they're willing to, uh, give you the fair assessment you might have to pay like a hundred dollars a diagnosis fee or just a evaluation fee but still it's going to give you a second opinion do not rely on the first opinion of the vehicles because their intent is they're going to take your vehicle they're going to sell it for way more as is even with all these alleged problems and put you in a newer vehicle for thirty forty thousand dollars now you're stuck with a five six hundred dollar a month payment for about five or six years however that works and you gave away a practically good vehicle. What they're doing is, is they're making you pay for what you don't know. And I want that to be the key takeaway for it. Because you don't know, you're gonna pay. And because they know, you're gonna pay. So, hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not, if you need more information or more content on repairs. And as always, we'll see what we 
fix next.